how can you get a job as a junior Python developer without any experience? So this is another question I got from a reader. Um, it's a fairly popular question. I've heard this one before. And so I want to cover it in this video and give some of my thoughts on it. So in general, if you have almost no experience or, you know, like this person, if you don't have any practical experience at all, you're going to have a really hard time getting a job even as a junior developer. Uh, I feel like the bar for hiring a junior developer is that they should be able to at least, you know, do basic programming tasks. And uh, they're kind of a developer that can already solve problems on their own, but you want to check in with them and still give them support. So you can't really get a job as a junior developer if, if you don't have any programming skills that you can bring to the table. You're going to have an extremely hard time passing any kind of coding interview and convincing somebody to pay you money to, to basically learn everything on the job. So if you're trying to break into the software development world and you want to do it with Python and you're hoping to get a job as a junior developer, you're going to actually have to bring, you know, a considerable amount of skills to the table. There is a reason that software development pays very well these days. And the reason is that it's hard to find people who can do it. And these are not easy skills that you can just pick up in a month or two, right? This is going to take some dedication to get there. But if you put in the time, I'm convinced that you can do it. I mean, actually, the fact that you're watching this video right now, and you're seeking out this information, that actually goes beyond what most people are going to do, right? So if you can kind of keep that momentum, and and uh, grow your skill set and grow your ability and also grow your your network, then I think you're going to have a good chance of getting a job as a Python developer, but it's really not realistic to say, you know, without ex any experience whatsoever, trying to get a job as a junior developer. Um, that's going to be very, very hard. Now, I, there's also a different way to interpret this question. And I guess that's to say, well, if you have some programming skill, and maybe you've taken a couple of courses, and you have the basics of programming under your belt, but you don't have any real world experience. And again, my answer is, uh, is the same, essentially, it's going to be very, very tough to get hired, if you don't have any real world experience to show for. Now, the good news is you don't have to have any kind of paid projects under your belt that can serve as at least some proof that um, that someone should be willing to invest in you and, and bring you on and grow you as a, as a team member. Um, you can totally demonstrate your real world knowledge by, uh, for example, building up a portfolio of Python projects that you worked on, making open source contributions, maybe starting a blog and talking about what you've learned in, uh, in your journey of learning Python. So these are all ways you can use and strategies you can use to build up some of that experience, at least a minimum amount of real world experience so that you're going to have an easier time for getting into a junior developer position with your Python skills. But you know, I want to be very clear, like in general, you're going to have to work for this and you're going to have to bring some value to the table. Uh, I, I think most people that are hiring junior developers, they're expecting them to actually deliver some value and add some value to the team. This is not usually not a you're getting trained on the job kind of position. So you want to have something to offer. And you want to just come across as a nice person and as someone that other people want to work with, this is also going to play a huge role. So you know, work on getting something to show for building up some kind of portfolio, so that you can go out there and say, you know, I might not have any real paid uh, work experience with this. But um, this is what I've learned. This is what I've produced. And I'm passionate about this stuff. And I really want to learn. And I think I'm going to be able to add a net value to your team. All right, if you have more Python questions and more Python career questions, please fire away, just add a comment below to this video. And I'll try and cover it in one of my future videos.